There it is, Lulu. The number one sunscreen of Kingsville, and it's finally going to be ours. Um, this is what we snuck into a beauty store to steal with sunscreen? Well, yeah, it's a number one sunscreen. It's even water resistant. And it's going to be ours. Not so fast. Lily. That's right. It's me, Lily, and this sunscreen is going to be mine. Wait, did you sneak in to steal it too? Uh, yeah, we've had this plan for like a week. Oh, this is really awkward. Okay, see, I was planning to steal this about a week ago. I mean, where, where, where do you think the alarms went off for? I mean, that was me. I, I shut the alarms off and... Wait, that was you? No wonder there were no alarms. I was expecting the cops to show up. What are we gonna do now? There's only one bottle of sunscreen, and there's two of us. Um, actually, there's three of us, sir. Okay, but you're with me, so technically there's two of us. No, no, she's right. There are three of us. I mean, even if you are working together, there. Okay, I got it. You both are smarter than me. You both graduated high school, okay? I dropped out. Anyway, what are we going to do? Because there's only one bottle, and... We can't all take one bottle. Um... That's a good question. I don't know. Well, how about you just let us take it and call it a night? After I shut off the alarms? I don't think so. You're not taking this bottle of sunscreen. It's coming with me. Wait, wait, guys. There's a sale on the sunscreen tomorrow at like 8 a.m. Oh, <sighs> how good of a sale. Because if it's only like a dollar off, there's no way I'm gonna give. Oh, it's like $1.99 or something. Whoa, only $1.99? This stuff is usually like $8.99. That's a good deal. Yeah, really. You know what? You guys can have it. I'm just gonna go buy my own bottle and I'm gonna get more than one bottle. Okay, well, have a good night. Wait. I... I want more than one bottle, too. So... Let's just come back and buy it. Alright, come on, Lulu. This gig's a bust. Um... Okay, uh... Why did I join this gang? You don't say. Oh. She didn't even call you back. Oh, you poor thing. Uh-huh. Well, you deserve so much better than... Oh! Oh, look, we got a visitor. Hey, child. Child, get over here. Yes, you. Don't you run away. You get over here. How rude. Uh... Me? I'm, I, I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Oh, come on. Now everybody knows me. I'm Annabelle. Now get over here. The wall has important things to say, and you're here, so you're going to listen, okay? Oh, I love that movie. Tell me what you think about it. You. You've seen The Lion King, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, when I was a kid. Well, you're still a kid because you're still in school. Uh, what about college? No! College is for fools! Now get over here and listen to the wall. He's gonna tell us what he thinks about the Lion King. Uh, okay. I know that part made me cry. Did that part make you cry too, kid? I, I didn't hear anything. What? Well, aren't you listening? I, I'm so sorry, Bobby. You better listen to him because he knows what he's talking about. Uh, but, but I don't... Shh! He's talking! Okay. 
I know! And then he finally deserved it. Don't you agree? Such a great movie. Um, yeah, 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 it was, he really did, woohoo! Uh, it's not a woohoo that Scar died. But, but you said he deserved, yeah, he deserved it, but our lion died because he was stupid. That's not a woohoo. How offensive. I think you hurt Bobby's feelings. You clearly weren't actually listening to him. I, you know I've got school to go to. You know what you do. You need to go back to school and learn how to respect your elders. I'm so sorry, Bobby. Hold on just a second and we can continue talking about every Disney movie you want, you poor thing. He just got totally dumped on his wall. I mean, he got dumped, okay? His girlfriend didn't even call him back, and now they're broken up. So I was just trying to be a good friend of the wall, and I thought maybe you could help, but clearly, you're too young to understand. I'm, like, 16. Yeah, well, clearly 16 isn't old enough. I don't know why they let you kids drive cars. Go to school. What are you doing? Ugh. All right, Bobby, I'm here for you. Jeez, why don't you just date the wall if you like him so much? All right, men, I've called you here for an important reason. Uh, before we get started, sir, why is your floor puppy dogs? Excuse me, I'm a dog. Don't you think I pay respects to my ancestry? Right. So sorry to interrupt, sir. You better be. All right, this idea is going to make us millions, gentlemen. Uh, can I ask one more question? Make it quick. You're interrupting my ideas. Uh, why is the chef here? Um, he said it was food related. Yeah, so quit asking questions, scientist, or I'll fire you. And then rehire you, because there's no scientist or- Just stop asking questions! Sorry, sir. Sorry. Please continue. Thank you. Painted butter. Deodorant. What? Um, wouldn't that be a giant mess? Why would that be a mess? I mean, all deodorant is a mess. It always leaves marks. It's just, it's unpleasant. That's why I've come up with peanut butter deodorant. I, I don't think this is going to go very well, sir. I mean, think about it. Peanut butter deodorant? I know. Isn't it great? It'll sell millions. I don't even think this is actually possible. Well, why not with the science today? You should be able to come up with it. Um, well, there are many reasons. It's not really meant for that. Oh, peanut butter is meant for anything. What are you talking about? Well, what about, uh... 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 What about... Uh... Exactly. You can't even come up with anything. There's no plausible reason why I can't create peanut butter deodorant. So I want you both to collaborate together and work on it. A chef whose main thing is food and a scientist whose main thing is weird stuff like this. And I, of course, will back all of it because I have so much money I don't know what to do with. Ha 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 ha. Right. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if we'd be a good team. Yeah, I mean, my thing is food, his thing is science. What, what do you even need me for? Just, just have him and... Uh, do you want a nice big paycheck or not? Well, yes, I do, but I don't understand what I'm even here for. Because you know peanut butter better than anybody else in Kinsville. I would disagree with that, but if you say so. But I still don't think rubbing peanut butter on your armpits is a great way to get rid of sweat and odor and... Oh, you disgust me! Rubbing peanut butter on your de... I mean, on your armpits as deodorant? But that's what you said, sir. Yeah, peanut butter deodorant? Oh, you two are so stupid. How did you even get in your position? I meant deodorant that smells like peanut butter. Oh, we knew 
that we were just testing you, sir. Yeah, just making sure uh, we were working for a smart guy. And to think, I'm hiring both of you to create this. <sighs> you better show me some good work, fellas. Because so far, I'm not impressed. Peanut butter on your teeth, your outfits, what kind of... Why wouldn't he just call it peanut butter scented deodorant? Because he'd have to have brains. Why do I even agree to work for this guy? Okay. Um. Sir, are you okay? No. Doctor. I've been... I've been shot. I'm dying. Please tell my family I love them. Um, actually, you're just fine. All right, all right. <sighs> Tell me what happened. Okay, well, I was about to arrest Jax, the most wanted criminal in all of Kinsville. Actually, that would be Lily, the glamour. Okay, well, second most wanted criminal. He runs a gang, the only gang in Kinsville, and it's my duty to bring them down. I was about to arrest him for stealing a candy bar. Or stealing a candy bar? It's a crime, okay? I take what I can get. <sighs> All right, well, I was about to arrest him. Handcuffs were out and everything, and suddenly he pulls out a gun and a potato. A potato? He was going to assault you with a po Well, I'm not done. Okay, so he said, your time is up, old friend. We're not even friends. I don't know what he was talking about. I mean, we did go to school once, but anyway, he put the gun into the potato and said, Power up. I pressed a button, and then he pulled it out, and he pointed it at me. Uh, and then he pulled the trigger. Bam! And now here I am, almost dead. He shot me. <gasps> Okay, um, this sounds like it was a look for the wound on my chest, full of blood. I don't know how I'm moving. We're talking. There literally is no wound on your chest. There's not even a mark. There's nothing. No blood. No, nothing. Your, your chest is perfectly white. It is. I can't. Oh, hey, what do you know? It is. What the heck happened? He clearly shot me. I felt it. <sighs> Alright, see, what I think happened is he shot you with a potato gun. A potato gun? A child's toy? You mean the leader of Kinsville's gang shot me with a potato gun? Yeah, and even more embarrassingly, you fell for it. Please don't tell the sheriff. Please, please, please. I know you do our besties. Please, please, please. I can't lose my job. Honestly, I don't think you'd lose your job because you're the only police officer. But... I won't tell her because you'll be clearly embarrassed... And you know what? I don't know who's worse in this situation. You or Jax for using a potato gun. What class were you two graduating in anyway? Is it full of dummies? We were the only two in that class that year. It was a small class. We weren't friends. The graduation was tense. Because I was the only one to graduate. Well, that explains a lot. All right, you're you're perfectly fine. Can you please get out of my office? There are much more serious things to tend to. Like Dr. Oz, I've got to go watch it. I'm seriously missing it right now. I'm so sorry, Doctor. Can I have a lollipop? They're out at the receptionist's desk. Thank you. And Please don't tell anybody I was the only person in my graduating class and that I got shot with a potato gun. You're the best doctor ever. Bye! Why 
do I continue to do this job? Oh yeah, I got a pretty decent paycheck. That is literally the only reason why I even stay. Hey everybody, it's Snow here. If you liked this episode of Kinsville, make sure to leave a comment below. And if you have any ideas for skits, make sure to also leave that in your comment. Um, Cassie, I don't want to anyone, really would like some cool ideas. So if you guys have any ideas for skits you'd like to see, make sure to uh, leave them in a comment. Okay, we'll see you on the next episode of Kinsville. Bye everybody, and thanks for watching.